Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about building a pumpkin that can flash with the music you play to it and can, can flash the music and also you can hear it too through a speaker. We're going to, we're going to, it's based off of, off of my uh, single-ended audio Single ended transistor audio amplifier. They call it that because this is a single transistor and it only it has a few other components too, but we're going to go over that in a, in a few minutes. Anyway, we're not going to use it's, it's like the relay one, but we're not use the relay when you use a transistor, then we're going to have it turn one of these on, flash one of these. This, this here. I don't know if it, if it's a headlight or tail light. I think it's a tail light one or so headlight tail light bulb. It had a black in insulator on the bottom of it with the pins on it. I took took that off and then bent the pins out so I could have easier access. I'm gonna solder wires and solder a diode on it. You don't have to put a diode on it because just in case the there, there's an inductive kick to it, inductive kick back to it that it will protect your electronics from the inductive, high voltage inductive kickback it might generate by it turning the light bulb on using a diode. That's what they use in relay circuits you've probably seen before in relay ones. Anyway, let's go over the circuit. Here it is, the circuit. We got here is a transistor. It's gonna be a tip 31C. It doesn't matter what kind of transistor it is, usually. It has to be a power one since the bulb tip I draw a lot of current. If you probably won't be able to get away with using uh, 2N3904 or 2N22222A kind because of the current draw. Anyway, we get over here the, the jump wire J1 over here. That's where your audio signal goes into. And then it goes to a capacitor, a 100 microfarad capacitor. Then it goes to here, then there's a resistor here, 3.9 kilohms of resistance. It'll turn the bulb, light bulb on even without music. So, because cause you can see here that the current will flow to the bulb, then it'll flow to here, and turn this thing on. Then, then once that's on, it'll turn the transistor on. And then current will go to the bulb and, and have enough current for the light bulb. So that's another thing you gotta look at. It's, it's gonna have, be on even if no music. But the thing is, when you have music, it'll stop flickering because it'll change. Also, right there, there's our diode right there. The 1N4001 diode, a standard rectifier diode. Now I'm switching diode, a standard rectifier one. Doesn't really matter what kind, it could be a 1N4001. And it goes across it, and it's in reverse bias of the power. So that means that since this here gets positive, the cathode goes to the positive. And then the negative, with it, or where the collector is on, on the MPN transistor, that goes to the anode. Because the inductive kickback voltage is, is reverse of what the, of what the power of, of it is, I believe. Because why would it put a diode in reverse bias? 
Now we gotta talk about what what we're gonna power it. We're not gonna power it by a power supply. You can probably power by a power supply if you wanted to. It's probably a good idea to do it that way, like a 12 volt power supply. Well, I'm gonna, but since since the garage does not have uh, an outlet close to hand, I'm gonna have to do is pop the batteries. And so hopefully these batteries right here. Do not well will last a long time. It doesn't really matter because we're going to do trick or treat and it's going to be on, and it should last that time. I think. I wish I could get the the C battery. I could have probably did. I could have probably bought two packs of of four four C battery holder one, and it would be able to be give us twelve volts. But instead, I decided to get the double A one. Okay, so it's going to use this type of battery here. I think this is the max, the max power CL one. And it says, says it's number one longest lasting battery. We'll see about that. And. Right there is a chart here. There's this chart right here is the amp hour capacity. This tells you how many, if it draws how many amps per hour. And and and, and since this is different, since this since this type of battery has a discharge, which the amp hour is different with different charge, different discharge values. It will have different kind of amp hour capacities, different ones on that one battery, as you can see here. So if it was like drawing like 25 milliamp, your amp hour capacity would be around 2,000 milliamp hours. Then if it was drawing like 250, it would be. Uh, yeah, around 2,000 milliamp hours. Hopefully, this bulb here will last on it. I got an idea as I'm gonna use, since this is a dual filament, they call this a dual filament bulb because there's two filaments in it. As you can see there, there's one, it's not like a one filament one, it's like a two filament one. That's why it has four pins, because of four, because two for each filament. It's probably so so that the light will be different brightness at certain times. So whenever the car probably, you know, stops or so, I think don't they have a different brightness on the lights? The tail lights, the tail lights. One of them, the different color, different brightness anyway you can see there's two filaments on there and what, what 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 I did here is we could probably do is tie two of them together and put them in series try it that one so, so it'll draw less current but won't be as white though or we could do it as white with one of them you probably don't want to do two of them because if you do two of them at once with the same brightness, it will. It'll probably draw too much current. Anyway, so we'll have to wait and see. We got a little pumpkin here. I decided that for this for for this project here, if I went went went, I don't want. One thing is you don't want to use a regular pumpkin because with twelve volt, because with twelve volts on the pumpkin that might be might might be inside it if it's damp and all that stuff and that wire is such that bottom of the pumpkin it could probably do is it could probably make it fizz may 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 make an odor smell and it might I don't know how little do but it might not be good to, to do it that way if you have the bottom. You might be able to get away with putting like a cardboard piece on the bottom of it if you did a regular pumpkin, the real one, 
you could probably put a a, a piece of cardboard at the bottom, and then and then it when it then then it when it when it uh connect through the through the bottom of the pumpkin because the pumpkin could be damp and it could electricity could flow through the pumpkin to the, the pumpkin the guts and stuff like that at the bottom of it. And that's why I know the reason why I chose also because that pumpkins if they'll go white and after they've been cut open and stuff like that. Then you'd have to throw the pumpkin away to mold. That's why this pumpkin here was a good idea to do. I was hope that's why I, I I hope that's why I was wanting to get a fake pumpkin. And you would put the light in there. It had a, a light that plugged in, but we're not going to use that light for the reason the fact that it it uh. It needs outlet power, which 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 we don't have in the garage, and then plus also the fact that it has too much voltage for, for that power cord, the power cord that come with it. And that's why I really used one of these. These here went off of twelve volts. I don't know about the amps on one of them. Is this probably one of them that has less amps than the other one because it's not that one smaller distance than the other one, the filaments, the length of the filaments. And well, that's it for now. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this encourages you to build one for Halloween. Gives you guys some ideas. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll have the part that's coming in the mail soon, so. You have to stay tuned, look for those parts. Alright, thanks for watching.